Namo Adidafa. Good morning. Thanks for joining me for a daily practice check-in. Listen, listen, listen. This beautiful sound calls us back to our true home. The second mindfulness training. Aware of the suffering caused by exploitation, social injustice, stealing, and oppression. I vow to cultivate loving kindness and learn ways to work for the well-being of people, animals, plants, and minerals. I will practice generosity by sharing my time, energy, and material resources with those who are in real need. I'm determined not to steal and not to possess anything that should belong to others. I will respect the property of others, but I will prevent others from profiting from human suffering or the suffering of other species on earth. our Dharma lessons, we've been reading Ajahn Chah's book, Everything is Teaching Us. This morning we're finishing reading his talk, Wholehearted Training. But generally, we don't take it this far. Youngsters will go to the monastery once or twice. Then when they go home, their friends make fun of them. Hey, Dhamma Dhammo! They feel embarrassed and don't feel like coming back here. Some of them have told me that they came here to listen to teachings and gain some understanding, so they stopped drinking and hanging out with the crowd. But their friends belittled them. You go to the monastery and now you don't want to go out drinking with us anymore. What's wrong with you? So they get embarrassed and eventually end up doing the same old things again. It's hard for people to stick to it. So rather than aspiring too high, let's practice patience and endurance. Exercising patience and restraint in our families is already pretty good. Don't quarrel and fight. If you can get along, you've already transcended suffering for the moment. And that's good. When things happen, recollect Dharma. Think of what your spiritual guides have taught you. They teach you to let go, to give up, to refrain, to put things down. They teach you to strive and fight in this way to solve your problems. The Dharma that you come to listen to is just for solving your problems. What kind of problems are we talking about? How about your families? Do you have any problems with your children, your spouses, your friends, your work, and other matters? All these things give you a lot of headaches, don't they? These are the problems we're talking about. The teachings are telling you that you can resolve the problems of daily life with Dharma. We have been born as human beings. It should be possible to live with happy minds. We do our work according to our responsibilities. If things get difficult, we practice endurance. Earning a livelihood in the right way is one sort of Dharma practice, the practice of ethical living. Living happily and harmoniously like this is already pretty good. But you, we are usually taking a loss. Don't take a loss. If you come here on the observance day to take precepts and then go home and fight, that's a loss. Do you hear what I'm saying, folks? It's just a loss to do this. It means you don't see the Dharma even a tiny little bit. There's no profit at all. Please understand this. Now you've listened to the Dharma for an appropriate length of time today. May all beings be well. May all beings be happy. May all beings be peaceful. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Thank you for joining me today.